Ceremony, written by Leslie Marmon Silko in 1977, is a powerful historical novel that garnered the American Book Award in 1980, marking Silko's debut as a novelist. The story revolves around Teo, a young Laguna Pueblo veteran grappling with feelings of alienation and isolation in post-World War II America. Throughout the narrative, traditional Laguna Pueblo legends intertwine with Teo's personal journey, exploring the profound themes of the power of storytelling and the adaptation of tradition in the modern world. Ceremony stands as a significant work in the Native American Renaissance, a literary movement that emerged in the late 1960s, revitalizing indigenous American literature. Prior to the 1960s, indigenous American literature struggled to reach a wide audience, and indigenous authors faced significant challenges in finding publishing opportunities. Ceremony played a transformative role in shaping American literature and challenging historical representations of indigenous groups. At the center of the novel, Teo, a Laguna Pueblo veteran, carries the weight of his experiences in World War II. Alongside his cousin Rocky and other men from the reservation, Teo enlisted in 1941 and served in the Pacific Theater. Tragically, Rocky lost his life as a prisoner of war, leaving Teo devastated. Teo's mother, Laura, faced her own struggles on the Laguna Pueblo reservation, spending much of her time as a sex worker in Gallup, New Mexico. Teo's conception remains shrouded in mystery, as his mother bore him from a relationship with an unnamed white man whom Teo never had the chance to meet. Raised primarily by his uncle Josiah, Aunt Thelma, her husband Robert, and his grandmother, Teo formed a deep bond with his cousin Rocky, treating each other like brothers. As the novel unfolds, Teo emerges from a prolonged stay at a veteran's hospital, where he was heavily medicated. Rejoining his family, he grapples with post-traumatic stress disorder, which impedes his ability to reintegrate into his former life. Caught in a downward spiral, Teo reaches a breaking point when he attempts to kill Emo, who harbors animosity towards Teo due to his mixed heritage, during a bar altercation. In hopes of healing Teo, his family seeks the assistance of Kuush, a revered medicine man. Nevertheless, Kuush, the medicine man Teo's family initially seeks help from, fails to comprehend the profound terror of World War II and the brutalities of Western warfare. In light of this, Teo's family decides to send him to Bettany, another medicine man residing in Gallup, who prides himself on adapting traditional ceremonies to the modern world. Opening up to Bettany, Teo reveals his inner struggles, prompting Bettany to orchestrate a scalp ceremony specifically tailored for warriors who have confronted or taken the lives of enemy combatants. The purpose of this ceremony is to alleviate the trauma suffered by warriors. For Teo, the scalp ceremony becomes a means of reclaiming Josiah's stolen cattle and ending the prolonged drought that has plagued the Laguna Pueblo Reservation. Years prior to Teo's enlistment, Josiah had invested his life savings in procuring cattle that he believed could endure the harsh drought conditions afflicting the reservation. Tragically, Josiah passed away while Teo was away at war, and a white rancher unjustly seized the cattle Josiah had acquired. Compounding Teo's guilt, he believes that his own anger and curses directed at the humid jungles where Rocky perished have exacerbated the drought that has persisted since the war's conclusion. During his journey, Teo encounters Tsa, a mysterious woman who likely possesses the ability to transform into an animal. Their relationship takes on a romantic dimension, and with Tsa's assistance, Teo manages to recover Josiah's cattle. Miraculously, as the cattle return, the drought dissipates, breathing life back into the parched reservation. Teo and Tsa settle on a cattle ranch at the periphery of the reservation, thereby fulfilling Josiah's long-held dream. However, Teo's tranquility is disrupted when Emo begins spreading rumors, insinuating that Teo has lost touch with reality. Emo hopes these rumors will lead to Teo being readmitted to the veterans' hospital. Recognizing the unfinished nature of Bedney's ceremony, Tsa warns Teo that he must confront Emo and resolve the escalating situation. Pondering his options, Teo shares a final evening of drinking with Harley and Leroy, attempting to devise a plan. Unfortunately, Harley and Leroy betray Teo, abandoning him in an abandoned uranium mine, intended for Emo to discover. Left alone in the wilderness, Teo embarks on a desperate journey to find his way back home. Emo, Leroy, and Pinky, Emo's lackey, attempt to lure Teo out by torturing Harley, who was supposed to watch Teo but let him slip away. Teo contemplates murdering Emo, which would be easy given how drunk the three men are. 
Taeyo decides not to because it would give Emo what he wants and would stop Taeyo from completing his ceremony. Emo, Leroy, and Pinky kill Harley and drive off unscathed. Taeyo returns home and tells the Laguna Pueblo elders his story. The elders believe Tsa is indeed an animal person and has blessed Taeyo. By abstaining from the violence Emo wanted, Taeyo completes his ceremony and integrates back into life on the reservation. Emo is permanently banned from the reservation after murdering both Leroy and Pinky. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.